What's up, guys? If you're an Amazon FBA seller where you're importing product to your own retail shop, once in a while, you may have to air freight in the product, even though the air freight costs a lot more money than the ocean freight. But if you're running out of stock or you are doing a product launch, you may have to air freight in the product. So there's a lot of people have been asking me, are there ways to save money when I air freight in the product? In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips to save you some money when you air freight the product. Let's get started. For those of you first time watching my video, my name is Yuping Wang. I have helped small, medium, large, even Fortune 500 companies sourcing product from all around the world. I am here to share the best sourcing tips and tricks to help you build success for your business. Tip number one, ship loose. What do I mean by that? When you have many boxes to ship, you can put these many boxes on one pallet. So you have the option to either ship one pallet or ship many cartons loose. Which one is cheaper? In my experience, when I quote with the free folders or a free carriers, I often find the loose cartons cost a lot less than the pilotized load because the loose cartons will give the airline more flexibility to find space within their cargo space to find space for your cartons versus they have to find one designated spot for your pallet. So that's why the loose cartons I found often cost a lot less money than the palletized load. So ship loose. Tip number two is to get three quotes to door. Don't worry guys, it's very simple. First, get a quote from your supplier. Say you're moving product from China to the United States. Ask your Chinese suppliers to give you an air freight quote because they could use a cheap Chinese free forwarder to move the freight. Why don't you ask the air freight quote from them so you can compare. The second quote you should get is from the express carriers. FedEx, DHL, UPS, doesn't matter. The express carriers have designated planes to move the freight from one airport to the other. This is especially needed when your air freight load is less than 200 kg. Make sure you get a quote from the express carriers. Their quote is two door, all inclusive, no surprise. Their rate could be super competitive when your load is small. The third quote, you should get it from your freight forwarder because each freight forwarder, when they move a lot of air freight uh, shipment from one airport to the other, they negotiate a good discount with the particular airlines. You never know if your freight forwarder's quote is better or not. So get three quotes from your supplier, from the express carrier and your freight folder and compare. The only thing I need to point out is when you ask the quote from your supplier or your uh, forwarder, make sure you ask all inclusive two door quote because the air express carriers quote is two door. You want everybody quote to be apple to apple to apple. So you know which one gives you the most savings. So you, if you wanted to save money, let them compete so you can win. That's your tip number two, get three quotes to door. Tip number three is ask. When you get a quote from your freight forwarder, don't take it as is. Ask them, shop for a different airline, shop for a different flight schedule. Sometimes a day or two delay could save you a few hundred dollars. This is just like if you're buying ticket for yourself, the different flight schedule, different airline, the ticket price could be hugely different. So if you wanted to save money to air freight your product, make sure you ask. Tip number four is timing. Why fight with the crowd? You know, during the Christmas and the new year, the airline ticket price is way more expensive than usual. 
if it's possible at all, try not to arrange the air freight during the major holidays. Not only the US holidays, but the Chinese holidays as well. Chinese New Year, Chinese Mid-Autumn Festivals. If you don't know all these Chinese holidays, go to Sourcing Warriors Facebook group, download that beautifully laid out holiday schedule so you can be prepared and organized. So to save money on the air freight, try to avoid these major holidays. Tip number five is to be smart with your air freight quantity. What do I mean by that? Say you are air freighting a thousand pieces. You get a quote from your supplier, from FedEx, from Freight Forwarder. All of them are very expensive. Now you're very frustrated. Let me ask you a question. Have you thought about it to air freight 1500 pieces or even 2000 pieces? The reason is when you increase the air freight quantity, the total air freight cost may only increase marginally because a big portion of the air freight cost are fixed cost. Pick up, documentation, clearance, they're the same cost. It doesn't matter whether you air a thousand pieces or a two thousand pieces. So by balancing the total aired quantity and the total air freight cost, you might find a position where the margin impact makes the most sense for your air freight case. So be smart about your air freight quantity. There you have it guys, five tips to save you some money when you air freight. But I have one more thing to share with you. When you air freight, please don't forget to ask your supplier double, triple protect your product because the risk of damage during air transportation increased dramatically. There is no bigger waste of money than spending a lot of money on air freight but receiving the shipment damaged. So this is especially important if you're sending the shipment directly to Amazon warehouse, you're not even seeing it. So there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumb up. And by the way, if you have more questions, feel free to message me in the Facebook, uh, the Sourcing Warriors Facebook, and I will be happy to answer your questions. Until then, I'll see you soon. Have a brilliant day guys.